And that's some fucking movie or something. I'm sure it's really important. All right, we going now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what did we find out? We found out your shelf sucks. We found out this one's not good. Where's the good one? This one's good. Yeah, that's the good one. So we know this, this one's good. So we're going to put this back together and use it. <coughs> and uh, let's see, we have to change out the gear. I'm assuming that's this one. There we go. I think that's... Sleeve goes on there. Mm-hmm. Just right. Special clippies. Tension washer. Titty down. Technically, it's not a titty if it goes all around a full circle, is it? No. Defective titty down. Make sure it's in there good. Okay. We left out something. What did you leave out? The reason we took it apart the first time. Mmm. You forgot about that part, didn't you? That fast. So we end up changing the gear and adding the synchro ring in there for a dog ring. Okay, so now we have that. Now that's got a big gap in there, so I think there's supposed to be a washer in there. I think that's where the washer goes. No, the washer don't go right there. The washer goes on the next one. Doesn't go right there? No. no. about the bearing? You need bearing. 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 If we got a bearing, that means there must be a gear. Face it that way. We have to use this one. <laughs> That's the round of dogs. Oh, they're all rounded. Even these ones. We have no choice. This yeah. is third gear. <laughs> yeah. We only got one. Right, so. It don't matter how bad it is. Right. It's got teeth on the gear. Yeah. That's all that matters. We'll worry about the dogging part later. Yeah. That's all that matters. It's a secondary issue. Now that's where the washer goes. Right. There's a big gap in there. I can see it. A big washer. More clippies. Clips. Then retaining washer. Yeah. That's a bearing. Another gear with a large titty up. little worm gear looking thing clips it's called a sleeve spacer sleeve spacer worm gear looky thing there's no worm gear it's not a gear it doesn't mean it's a sleeve spacer more clippies okay we're down again now aren't we yep okay now we have to clean crap clean the oil off find heavy duty grease that's it Oh, disc brake and wheel bearing grease, huh? That's what you came up with. <laughs> High temperature. Blue. Don't be bashful about packing that in there. Oh, don't, because those clips will fall out. Guaranteed at least once or twice. At least. So I'm going to put a good layer in there right now. Then we're going to put the clippies in there. I don't necessarily want to go in. There appears to be a lot of grease in there. Yep, shove that good old flathead in there. Into that good old grease. 
make thumbnails for. <laughs> Why put more grease in there? Packing the behind are good. Yeah, you gotta put some grease on the retainer washer too. You want me to grease this up too? Mm -hmm. Let me just grease up everything, right? Mm -hmm. Have we done this before? Mm -hmm. How come we got an extra bearing? Because it goes in the big gear in front. <clears throat> sure, I can leave one out. Perfect. Is that greased up? Or no. Yeah. That's, spot. that's perfect. You like that? Perfect. It's got the right amount in there? Got the perfect amount. Make sure you get the titties down. Yep. Make sure it sits flat in there. Put some more grease in there just for the hell of it. Yep, to make sure it does not move because you will have hell. You'll press the whole transmission together and think it's together, and then you'll have two gears clapping each other. Yeah, then you'll take it apart again. Yep. yep. Have you done this before? Yep. Seems like it. Yep. Bearing. Plus, the, the grease is good for your bearings. Don't forget the dog. I don't think it's directional. I was looking at quality of dogs. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to put the better ones toward this big gear. <clears throat> I think that's second. This is low, right? Mm -hmm. We got this big ass washer. Might as well pretend it's grease on it too. Just for the hell of it. Of course, it's got a lot of grease on the threads now, so the lock tight won't work. <clears throat> okay, we got armed. We're armed and dangerous. Sweet, we got one done. Make sure you cover your grease up so you don't get dirt in there. Yep. Dirty nope. grease is not good. Nope. Where's our dirty greasy trap door we're gonna use? Right Probably there. The one, the one with the drum on it, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. The wrong one. The one that has the oil on it. Yeah. Right? Assembly <clears throat> lube. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now the next problem was which one's which? Hmm? I think counter shaft goes on this side, right? Damn it, Tatro. Are you really asking me that question right now? Yeah. You're killing me, Tatro. Where's the bent main shaft? That one? The bent main shaft? Yeah. That's the one we're using. It has using. all the teeth on it. Yeah, we're using that one. Yeah, that looks like about how it goes. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to try not to damage the bearing anymore when we have to. So we need a sleeve that goes over there. There, but fits inside of there. Remember that? I don't even remember what we used. I'm going to go over to my drawer over here. Ah, yes, the good pressing drawer. <clears throat> the drawer of that pressing. Looks like something that might work. Does it ride on the inside of the bearing or the outside of it? It's on the inside where it belongs. Sure. This looks like it's big enough to go around that. Yeah, yeah. That'll go inside of there. And that'll go inside of there on both shafts. You can use the fat side down or the fat side up. Mm-hmm. You go down. There you go. Straight on. Now, I think it's deep enough it'll clear the shaft too when it's completely on. It's almost Ooh. clearing it down with no bearing it clears, so... Yeah, it should clear with the... So with the bearing, the bearing's thicker than an eighth of an inch, right? Right. So that should be good. Did you catch your house on fire? No. Someone did. Alright, so... They probably caught the canyon on fire. Yeah, it's too damn wet for that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put one of these in there first. Didn't we try that once already? Yeah, we're going to try the other one. Not that one. Okay. Not that one. Yeah, leave that crap. I don't know why that's sitting. That should be over there. This is the good one right here. Yeah, they got ambulances, pops, and two yeah. fire engines at least. Yeah. yeah. All right, now, this was a problem here. Problem? It's a little too tall. This doesn't fit in here? Yeah, it's a little tall. Is that the problem? Yeah, it's a little tall. Oh. How do we fix that problem? Shit, I don't remember. <laughs> well, we can go like this. Raise it all the way up and hope the tray goes in. That's it. That's all you get. 
It's still going. It's like copper and emblems. Ambulance. Got two dowel pins in the way. Mm hmm. So I'm thinking the gears go this direction. <clears throat> there, that fits a lot better that way. So you're just going to press it straight through, huh? Well, the first thing I do is get this centered up a little bit. And I'm going to push down on it. Should we put that over there too? I mean, no, that was the point of it. Do we have room is the question. Uh, no. Oh, okay. No, we do not have room for that. Okay. Press it. Yeah, we don't have room for that. I think that's why we just straight pressed it the way we pressed it. Close. It's just too tall. It's close to fitting. Yeah, it's just too tall. It doesn't fit very well either. If you push it just right, I'll go in. <laughs> Need another. We're that much off. Mm hmm. You know what that means, don't you? Things we have to work. I think I'm gonna move a bunch of junk. Alright, I gotta clear this out. We'll be back. <laughs>